one. So I screwed my audio up, so I'm going to have to do a voiceover. Uh, this is my chicken here that I've been marinating overnight in pineapple juice. I think I marinated it for like 15 hours, something like that. Um, turned out interesting. Um, first time ever marinating chicken wings. And uh, so I'm going to kind of take you through this uh, as best I can, as much as I can remember with a voiceover. So hopefully this sounds good. I guess I'll find out when I go to video edit everything. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, I also vacuum sealed the bag, which you can do in a pot of water. Um, you basically just leave a little slit open at the top of your Ziploc bag, put it into a pot of water, and the water will help uh, displace all the air in the bag, leaving you with a vacuum sealed bag. Kind of helps um, infuse your meat with uh, all the juices that you're marinating or brining it in. So here's my pot. Put about an inch of water at the bottom there. Um, as you can see, as I pull the, uh, the steamer partition out, so about an inch of water at the bottom there. You don't need very much water. Uh, we're only going to be boiling, or not boiling, but steaming our chicken for um, about 10 minutes. And uh, so you don't need a ton of water, as long as you have enough water to where it doesn't evaporate um, all the way. And yeah, you're going to put that on high heat, get that up to a... Uh, boiling temperature and then once it's boiling you're gonna bring the heat back down and put your chicken inside of there and put it in there for about 10 minutes um, which you'll see here in a second um, just to explain why we're doing this um, so I I got this recipe on Alton Brown's which I'll put a link in the description for the YouTube video um, but yeah so I basically uh, steam my chicken first because you want to cook off and rend off some of the fats in your chicken. Um, and the reason for that is you are, um, if you put just raw chicken in the oven and cook it at 425, it's going to burn and the inside isn't going to be cooked. So here we are. Uh, we've got our chicken. Um, and as you can see, I brought the heat down to like a level two there, which um, you don't want it to get too hot inside of there. And uh, yeah, we're going to put it in there for about 10 minutes. Uh, it's going to rend off a lot of the fat and oils on the top of the chicken uh, to making it so that uh, and also cooking it so that uh, we don't burn our chicken, but we're able to get a nice crispy skin on there and it's going to be fully cooked all the way through. Uh, so there we go. I'm going to set my timer here for 10 minutes as I screw that up. That's okay. And boom. So, 10 minutes later, here we are. I uh, got my uh, pan set up, uh, put some aluminum foil to make it an easy cleanup underneath the cooling rack there. You're going to want to spray that cooling rack with, uh, also use proper PPE. This pot is hot as hell so be careful um, but yeah uh, you're gonna want to spray that um, cooling rack with some some sort of like Pam or something like that um, that way the chicken doesn't get stuck to it um, but yeah turn the heat off as you can see it's steaming up quite nicely there and uh, we're gonna just go ahead and we're gonna pull the chicken out and put it on the rack um, yeah, so as you can see, the chicken is somewhat cooked, um, which is what we want. We wanted to uh, partially cook the meat on the inside. Uh, we don't want to boil it, which would just pull way too many juices, way too many of the goody, good stuff out of the chicken. Um, but we want to do just enough to where it's somewhat cooked and it's going to allow the chicken to uh, get nice and crispy in the oven. So, um, I don't know what I'm talking about here. I apologize for the dirty plate in the background. That's what I use to put my uh, um, my tongs and spoons down while I'm in between cooking. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, probably talking about that I put aluminum foil down to make the cleanup nice and easy. Uh, you want to use the cooling rack. Uh, you can put the chicken directly on the pan, but I don't recommend it. Uh, you want to have as much um, of the chicken 
basically exposed to the air as possible. Um, it allows for everything to get as crispy as possible. If you lay the chicken directly down onto a pan, a lot of that chicken is going to be in contact with metal and it's just going to not crisp up. It's not going to get cooked um, the same way as the rest of the chicken is going to get cooked. Um, and you might not be nearly as happy with it. Um, you also notice I leave my chicken uh, whole. I don't ch uh, cut up my chicken wings. I kind of like eating them this way. Um, if you don't like eating them this way, by all means, you can cut them before or after you're done cooking them, uh, whatever makes you happy. Um, I just like doing it this way because I find that it helps keep the juices in the chicken better and that it, uh, um, it just, uh, for me, it just tastes better. Um, it also, I, I don't like accidentally cutting into the bone and swallowing a piece of bone. So next up, we're throwing it in the fridge, which is weird, I know, but you're going to throw it in the fridge and let it rest for at least an hour. Um, reason for this is you, there's a lot of moisture um, on the chicken and that moisture has to evaporate off if you're going to throw it in the oven. Faster way to do this is to throw it in your fridge for an hour and the fridge will actually pull all of that moisture out. Um, so here we are, uh, chicken is nice and cooled off. I got the oven preheated to 425 and the chicken is ready to go. I actually sprayed it with a little bit of Pam. That might have been a mistake because these things crisped up really fast because of the pineapple marinade. Again, I've never used pineapple marinade before but it crisped up um, a lot faster than I expected. So, uh, yeah. Um, generally speaking, though, if you don't marinate or brine your chicken and you do this method of cooking them, um, you can spray it with the Pam to get your skin a little extra crispy and uh, not risk burning your chicken. So, I uh, just keep that in mind. Um, I, again, I think the sugar content of the pineapple juice cause things to caramelize and um, crisp up a lot faster than I expected. So here we go, throwing it in the oven. Uh, thankfully that pan is cold so I could touch that with my bare hands. Uh, we're going to throw it in there for 20 minutes and with some movie magic we will be back and the uh, time to flip the chicken. So here's where you'll see that the chicken is uh, a, a little bit more crispy than I expected it to be. So, um, as I put my glove on and I turn off my timer here. Boop. All right. Um, yep. Proper PPE. Here we are. So I'm a little surprised. Uh, the chicken is. Uh, it's got a lot of like uh, like searing points on there that I was not expecting to see on my chicken. Again, I think this is because of the pineapple marinade. Um, it tasted wonderful, which you'll see at the end of the video as I taste test it, but uh, I'm a little surprised by that. Um, so what I ended up doing here is I, obviously you're going to want to flip your chicken. Um, that's the whole reason for doing this every 20 minutes. Um, so that way both sides, so as you can see the top side, which is exposed to the majority of the air, um, got crispy and then the bottom side is still kind of wet there. Uh, so by flipping these you're evenly cooking both sides of the chicken um, and making sure you get the chicken wing nice and crispy on all sides. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry, the video quality has changed. I was using my GoPro and my GoPro froze on me. Um, so I just pulled the chicken out after only 10 minutes. Um, I'm pretty sure the meat inside is gonna be fully cooked. Um, I can take a thermometer to that and double check. Um, but uh, I had to pull it out considerably sooner because this got crispy super, super fast. And um, I didn't want to burn my chicken. Um, so why did that happen? Because this, this is not normal. This is not how it usually comes out. And only thing I can think of is because of the pineapple juice marinade that I made. Um, I think all of that 
additional sugar um, that I infused into the skin and the top layer of meat um, just caused this to caramelize so much faster than it normally does. Um, now it's time to toss it. Uh, so what you would do to toss it is I recommend a big mixing bowl. Um, the bigger the better. Um, I actually kind of wish this one was, I had a bigger one. Um, makes it a little bit easier to toss. So yeah, um, and then of course you're gonna need your sauce. So as I said, since I'm doing this with um, some pretty sweet stuff, we're gonna use some of this. Uh, so Kikkoman teriyaki sauce. Um, it's got a whole bunch of um, sesame seeds in there. Um, it's a very, very sweet sauce. So these are not gonna be hot wings. Uh, they're gonna be teriyaki wings. Um, but that was just because I figured that, um, you know, having them be put in pineapple, uh, they are going to already be pretty sweet. And I don't think that would go well with like a buffalo sauce or the buffalo sauce might overpower that pineapple flavoring that I was going for with these. So, yeah. Now, for me personally, um, I would just throw them straight in here and toss them. Um, I am going to though, however, because, um, I am trying to taste test these on camera and hopefully my GoPro will work again so I can set that up. I'm going to actually take one of the wings and cut them and I'll probably do the small one over here. For some reason, when I buy these wings from my commissary, there's always one wing that is so much smaller than the rest. And then you get these massive chonkers over here that are like three times the size. Well, I don't know what causes that, but yeah. So grab the wing. I'm just going to take a simple chef's knife here. And doing this one-handed, don't recommend it, but uh, I've done it enough times. So you're just going to put it right there on the joint. Take it. Apply pressure down. And wham, bam. You've separated it. And I'll be taste testing using that big old drummy stick boy right there so let's go ahead and we're gonna throw these in here like so there we go and Take our sauce, which I can't open with one hand. Future, future uh, apple problems right there. All right, I'm gonna take the sauce and pour liberally over there. There we go. And I also, so I don't want to overpower it with something like a buffalo sauce, which has a very vinegary um, heat to it. But I do like heat with my wings. Like I still want them to be kind of hot. So. Um, what we're going to do, so you mix it up, and you're going to try and toss them. Kind of hard to do with one hand while you're holding a camera, but I'll make it work. There we go. Smells delicious. So there we go. Got it fairly well mixed up. But what I'm going to do to just add a little bit of spice to this, because, like I said, I like I like my wings still kind of spicy. I'm not going to lie. One of my favorite ways to spice anything up is to go ahead and sprinkle some crushed red pepper on there. Uh, so, just go ahead and sprinkle fairly liberally, because a lot of this is going to get stuck to the side of the pan, unfortunately. Go ahead and sprinkle that on, and then... Finish tossing. Again, hard to do with one hand, and it's a lot easier if you had a bigger, um, bigger mixing bowl. But let's go ahead and we'll grab a plate. All right, grab a plate. Take our wings and. Move them over like so. Wonderful color on these things. I will say that extra charring on the tips from the pineapple juice 
adds really great color. I love it. Alright. And then this is the bad boy we're going to taste test right there. Throw that guy on there. This is going to be my lunch as well. So, uh, everything I cook, I'm not going to waste any of it. Definitely going to eat it all in front of you. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this into the my living room here. And I'll set up my camera and have you guys watch me eat uh, chicken wing. What's up? All right. Got my chicken, set up my phone. Unfortunately, um, my GoPro froze on me and I can't get it to unfreeze. Uh, so, use a selfie camera on my phone. I keep looking at the wrong side. Camera's down there. Anyway, so yeah, uh, got my chicken here. Got that one piece I cut off right there. I'll put it up close. It's not going to focus on it, that's fine. But yeah, it's got some red pepper flake. Um, yeah, so let's see how what it tastes like. Hmm. Really good. I'm actually really surprised. Um, so yeah, the skin isn't as crispy as I'm used to because obviously I had to pull it out ten minutes earlier than normal. Uh, it is most definitely cooked all the way through. I don't see anything inside that looks pink um, or anything like that. So chicken is definitely cooked all the way through. Probably one of the most important things, safety. You don't want to overcook your food or undercook your food, especially chicken. So we're good there. Um, but the skin isn't nearly as crispy. And I think that's because I had to pull it out sooner because I think the pineapple marinade caused the skin to cook unevenly. Um, where the parts that were sticking up the most in the oven were um, getting cooked faster than the rest of the skin and um, caused, and I, I just didn't want to burn my chicken. I just, that's, that was the main thing. So, um, do I taste the, the marinade? Um, it's hard to say. I, I, this is the first time I've used this teriyaki sauce on um, chicken wings as well. So I think I get a scent, like the hint of citrus uh, from the marinade. The chicken is super juicy and tender, which is kind of the most important part. Um, so I don't know if the marinade helped with that because it's usually pretty moist and delicious anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, really good. Uh, mm. I'll definitely pick up the hints of pineapple and citrus in there. It's really sweet. Um, if you like your wings sweet, highly recommend the teriyaki sauce. Um, you might have to experiment with the temperatures and everything with the, um, um, if you're going to try and do the marinade. Um, I don't think I'm going to do this kind of marinade again. I think if I try uh, anything new with uh, chicken wings in the future, uh, other than the sauce, um, I want to try brining. Um, I do have a jar of pickles back there that I've been munching on uh, for the last few days. And once I'm done eating all my pickles, I might just brine some chicken in uh, pickle juice. So that'll be interesting. Uh, that shouldn't cause the same problem. I shouldn't have an issue with like uh, additional, because there is no real sugar in um, pickle brine uh, or pickle juice. So uh, I shouldn't have as much of a problem with the skin, I think, getting super crispy like this um, and cooking unevenly. Um, and then with that one, because it is going to be a brine, I might still go ahead and just toss it in a, um, I don't know, um, a buffalo sauce or something like that. Other option I'm thinking of doing is I do have some frozen chicken tenderloin. Um, that I can basically cut up and cube up into some smaller pieces and stir fry. Um, and what I might do there is I might cut it up into small pieces, brine it, then go ahead and uh, stir fry it and throw it in some teriyaki sauce or something um, and serve it over rice. I might make a video on that too. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you for coming to my very first Apple Cooks video. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, 
I don't have a script in front of me, but if you like my video, uh, consider subscribing, liking. Uh, if you think my video sucks, hit dislike, I don't care. Uh, feel free to comment. Uh, the comments are open down there. And uh, all that good stuff. If there's any recipes you'd like me to try, um, if there's any um, anything silly you'd like me to see me do, I'm just trying stuff. I'm enjoying making content. Um, unfortunately, I can't stream because of my internet situation currently. Um, but uh, I figured, why not learn some new skills and learn how to do videos and video editing and uh, have some fun doing it. So thank you guys so much and hope you have a wonderful day. Stay home, stay safe, play video games. Don't, don't be spreading that Rona around. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.